Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I wish I remember who suggested this video idea. It was time ago in the comments section of one of my videos, someone made this suggestion. I thought it was a good idea. I've been sitting on it for a while and today we're bringing it to life. Because the thing is, we're forever having a pop at Herman Tilka, telling him how bad his trap designs are. Apart from Sepang, I love Sepang. So today's video is all about track design, but taking inspiration from a source that has, that has never been tapped into before. I have taken 10 countries and based off their physical geographic shape, turned them into what I think are quite feasible looking Formula One tracks. Motorsport tracks, obviously, not just Formula One. But which countries, Tomo? Well, 61.1% of you watching Apparently, according to my analytics, all come from seven, seven different countries. So obviously they're gonna be there and I've picked three more to round it to a nice 10 that I think have particularly interesting, particularly viable shapes. Now country borders are notoriously intricate. So a lot of these tracks are gonna be pretty long. There's a lot of 145 lap times I think coming up. And you know what? Turns out wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter. Today's video sponsor, Squarespace, can sort you out. An all-in-one website building platform with 24-7 customer support means there's always someone on hand to help you out wherever you are in the world. It doesn't matter what time zone. I've used Squarespace to host my portfolio since August 2018, which was the same month that Fernando Alonso was famously yeeted over Charles Leclerc by Nico Hülkenberg at Spa, which feels like modern history. Drag and drop functionality, no coding knowledge needed, the perfect place to start if you're looking to build a website. If you game, go to squarespace.com and make yourself at home. Doesn't cost you a penny to build your website on the back end. The only time you have to spend any money is when you wanna put that website live to the world. And when that time comes, use the code TOMOF1 or give the link in the top line of the description a tap for 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for supporting the brands that support me. Now let's see how these tracks turn out. So let's start first and foremost with the biggest audience segment of mine, which of course is my fellow United Kingdomers. 19.2% of you, which is actually much lower than I thought it would be. Now look, the first big omission here, I'm sorry to all my Northern Irish, but because you're a separate landmass in the UK, I, I can't really incorporate you. Let's just imagine there's a little go-karting track that's the shape of Northern Ireland next to this one, shall we? So actually, for the purpose of this video, it's gonna be Great Britain, because Great Britain is England, Wales, Scotland. Northern Ireland's not included in Great Britain, but is included in the United Kingdom. Yes, I know, it's very confusing. So the British Grand Prix starting up in Scotland near Ben Nevis on a long curve start finish straight. Anti-clockwise we're going down into a bunch of solid braking zones before heading into Wales. As you can see I'm not keeping religiously to the land border here otherwise it'd be the twistiest track of all time. Hairpins in the west in Cornwall and in the east in Margate then long flowing full speed sections from Norwich up to Edinburgh. I'm counting about 13 reasonably heavy braking zones here. Long track like I said at the start very long. And then in terms of the vibe of the track and the feel, I'm, I'm thinking like Spa meets Brands Hatch. Like lots of nice forests, some twisty sections. That's the vibes I'm getting from this one. Next, we have the United States of America with 18.1% of my audience, almost bigger than the Brits, which is mad. Now your North, East and West Coast are all pretty straight. So we've got some nice straight lines in this track. Now we're starting up north, first bit of cornering is around Lake Michigan Way with a tight left-hander down towards Detroit kind of area. Before we loop around Maine and then go down the long flowing straight of that east coast all the way down to Miami. And yes, we are kind of cutting through Montreal and Quebec at the top, but that sounds pretty American to not respect Canada. I'm joking. It's a joke. Or is it? And there's a nice flowing section in the south along the Mexican border with a hard breaking zone at San Diego. Then back up the west coast, got a little right, left, right at Seattle, and then back along the start finish straight. With the long straights, I'm thinking street circuit, I'm thinking a bit of a Baku alternative maybe. Lots of pace, but lots of slow speed, intricate corners as well. 
Now, of course, it goes without saying that my third biggest audience with 5.4% is you crazy Dutch. Thank you, Val. Your country is a beautiful, very flat, very twisty thing. So that's going to reflect in this circuit. We start at The Hague with some super tough, hard breaking zones, including a nice hairpin before we fly down the south towards Eindhoven. Also, I do apologize to anyone who lives in that bottom left corner of the Netherlands, but you are essentially Belgium. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a nice little rounded off section at the very bottom here before swooping back up towards Arnhem. The notch on that right hand side is courtesy of Germany's land border. And then at the top, I have rounded the top of the country off. I'm thinking a Zandvoort-esque banked section. You know what I mean? Again, I am thinking Zandvoort in terms of the banking, in terms of, again, the presentation, the proximity of fans. Maybe a bit wider. That's my one caveat with Zandy. It's a bit narrow. At 5.1%, namaste to all my Indian subscribers. We may not have a race at the moment, but your country and its land border produces a very interesting circuit, the first bridge of the list. It works at Suzuka and it would work here a treat in this kind of northeastern section where the Bangladesh border is. Got a long right hand and then a pretty chill technical section here before a long straight back over the circuit. I think we've got a good combo here of slow speed, high braking, some good medium speed final sections too. I think this covers all of the bases, you know. And again, for the vibe, because of the bridge, I'm going for a Suzuka-esque vibe in terms of the, the, the style of this track. Fractionally behind the Indians, we have the Germans at 5%. Guten Tag. I need to work on my accents, man. <laughs> no German track on the calendar so far this season, which is a crying shame. Although Nürburgring, Hockenheim might fill that TBC gap. We will see. Now, straight away with this shape, even though it's not, that's, it's not similar, but I don't know. I'm just feeling very Red Bull ring about this for some reason. Track starts off just west of Cologne and again, goes around. There's a good combination again, slow, medium. Like the Red Bull ring, I think offers very well. It's a very simple track, but it's got lots of different types of corners. And once again, for the surroundings of the track, I'm going Red Bull ring, lots of gravel, lots of traps, but also beautiful mountains. Lovely. Turns out 4.2% of you watching are Stratifi stands. Welcome to you lovely ice hockey syrup people. And Canada's got some super unique and varying land borders. So this one's going to be interesting. Just like with the USA, we've obviously got a bunch of solid straight borders going on. I've cut away much of that crazy island formation in the north of Canada, where it is just polar bears and penguins, I guess. Probably not. And instead, I've just swept through that area with some nice medium speed, pretty high speed corners, to be fair. But I've still managed to squeeze at least five hard braking zones into this track. So plenty of room for overtaking after you've, you know, sat in the draft for a bit. As for what this track is most like, well, here's the wild card entry, because I'm saying that this Canadian track is huge. I'm saying this is a bit of a Le Mans. Those straight lines just make the track feel massive. So I'm, I, I want 25 laps. I want four minutes per lap. That's what I want from this kind of track. Maybe five minutes per lap. Because that's the thing, we do have quite a variety in terms of the shortest lap time and the longest lap time. So why can't we have a four minute lap time? I know big L if you have, you know, a burst tire just as you pass the start finish straight, but it's the same rule for everyone. And the final nation represented in the viewing figures with 4.1% is of course, the bloody Australians, mate. <laughs> I swear, when I went Australia, I actually had a good Australian accent and now it's just completely gone. And I'm not going to lie, home away from home for me, if it wasn't for Minton and the traumatic trip it would take to get into Australia, then I think me and Hannah would have already been settled in Melbourne by now. Sorry, Sydney, but Melbourne is just better. Okay, it just is. Not much in a way of medium speed here. It's more long straights with super hard braking zones. There's a bit of flow up Darwin Way in the north, but that's it on that front. Start line is up near Cairns with a fat hairpin into the first corner, kind of like we have at Spa already. Yet another bridge too. This is to include Tasmania now. I'm sorry, Northern Ireland. I know I didn't include you, but 
I just I just didn't. Northern Ireland is technically still a different country, even though it's within a country. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hard breaking zone, and then the longest right hander you've ever seen in your life. The vibe for this one, I'm feeling quite Silverstone-y about this. You've got the long sweeping corners, I like a bit of track undulation in there as well. I'm thinking for the surrounding, picture this, but in Silverstone. So we've done seven now. To get us to 10, I had to scour Google Maps. And by scour, I mean look for about 10 minutes. But I feel I have found three more countries that have very racetrack-esque land borders. And to start, we have to go to Japan. From Hokkaido in the north to Kyushu down in the south, that shape of Japan, with the little islands and the long flying, it just looks like a racetrack. We start near Nagoya, flow down past Tokyo and back over another bridge. Nice and flowing, once again very Suzuka-esque. Just like the Indian circuit we came up with, this is going to have a Suzuka feel to it. It's just a coincidence that it is already in Japan. Next we have the nation with probably the most iconic physical geographic shut up. Next we have the nation with what is probably the most iconic physical land border of any country in the world. Of course it is the boot shaped nation of Italy. Start finish line down on the old Amalfi coast on the west, curves up past Genoa and comes very very close to Monaco on its way back around. You got some nice hard braking zones down in the heel of the boot plus around the Sicily region. I would really love to see this built and brought to life. Assetto Corsa, mod builders, get on this. And you know what, again, coincidence maybe, but I'm getting Mugello vibes with this. With those fast flowing corners, 5G, not this kind of 5G by the way, I mean like the, the one that pulls your head off. And last but by no means least, a nation that I had no idea looked this cool, had such a cool shape. And even better, it's a nation that England just recently got revenge over in the Euros. Yes, it is of course, Croatia. Beautiful place, lovely part of the world, would love to go one day. This out of any nation, by far and away for me, looks the most like a racing track. From the hairpin down in the south near Dubrovnik, lots of low, medium speed technical elements. If you give this Interlagos levels of undulation, of elevation change, this would be a phenomenal racing track beautiful so that is a wrap 10 tracks from 10 different countries let me know in the comments below which was your favorite and what countries did i miss that also could have really cool racing tracks made out of them thank you so much for watching as always thank you squarespace once again for supporting and sponsoring what i do don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new stuff when it drops. My name's been Tomo. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.